Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Alpha 4 is here and Alpha 4 gave you the Design Your Own H-Class mission. Now in case you're not familiar with the H-Class, as per the description, the H-Class battleships are enlarged versions of the, of the previous Bismarck class that intend to satisfy the Plan Z of the Kriegsmarine to directly challenge and defeat the naval powers of the United Kingdom and her allies. You have the chance to build enormous German battleships of the H-Class and fight versus an American fleet led by modern large battleships, which are your main objective. I get to build one battleship. I have 180 million to do that with. Um, that is, if you pick the boost technology, if you go for more funds, you get another 130 million. That is a ton of money. Um, I went with the boost technology for this one. Now I'm going to be fighting two different battleships of two different classes. A battle cruiser, two heavy cruisers. Six destroyers of two different classes. I have a lot of time to sink two battleships. That's the main objective. Sink 100% of the enemy battleships. If the battle cruisers, the heavy cruisers, the destroyers survive, that's all perfectly fine. Now, I uh, played around in the editor quite a bit, and this is what I came up with. This is the Kaiser Friedrich III. Um, the Kaiser Friedrich has a couple of 18-inch guns. It has um, the triple turrets on the bow, and in order to satisfy the weight displacement, or the weight offset rather, I have two 18-inch dual turrets in the stern. So I get a total of 10 18-inch barrels. Now, I'm fighting battleships, but I also need to keep cruisers and potentially destroyers at bay, so I decided to strap a heavy cruiser off to my side. These are three triple barrel 9-inch guns. And, to make matters even more interesting for the destroyers, a couple of 5-inch guns, of which I have 8 barrels per side. I also went with a couple of torpedo launchers. These are nothing too stellar. They're 15-inch. They're electric torpedoes. They carry a decent amount of ammo, but they take forever to reload in 10 minutes. They're there to make sure that the enemy is going to be forced to turn. They're going to be either forced to turn, or they're going to take flooding damage. And the forced to turn is there to make sure that the battleships don't have the capacity to get all their guns to bear, or to bring all their guns to bear. Um, that is the plan, anyway. If this is going to work or not, I don't know, because they are electric torpedoes, which makes them really hard to detect for the enemy. Now, as for the rest of the specs for the ship, um, you can go for something that is really big. If you slide this all the way up, you're getting a, a ship that does not even fit the dry dock. Like it's sticking out on the bow and it's sticking out on the stern. It's going right through the door of the dry dock. I was not quite able to build a ship that was able to get um, this displacement and still have enough armor within the constraints of that money that I have. So I went with a slightly smaller design of, well, only 108,000 tons. At a speed of 25 knots, short range. Um, I'm going to be playing more and more with the range slider to make sure that I get a ship which I would say in most cases of the campaign would be relatively accurate. I don't know what the campaign exactly is going to entail, but the more I um, start to work with this, the more it starts to get standard incorporated in my designs, and the more I feel I will be ready for the campaign. Maximum bulkheads. Diesel 2 engines, oil fired, forced boilers, AUX 3. Mostly there for water pumping and ship repairs. Shaft 3, Crip 4 armor, maximum barbette thickness, triple bottom, anti-torpedo 2 only. I can go all the way up to 5, but it makes the ship really heavy. And while it does reduce torpedo flooding damage, I hope that between the auxiliary 3 and the anti-flood 3, torpedoes are not going to be that big of a problem. It's all going to depend on how well the enemy destroyers are armed. I have Citadel 5, I'm firing super heavy shells, which are fired from electro-hydraulic turrets which have auto-loaders, and that puts the reload of these guns at a mere 46 seconds, and for the stern at a more 41 seconds. So they are pretty close each other. Uh, rangefinder, we have the stereoscopic rangefinder 5 and the generation 2 radar. And then we come to armor, and this is where I'm getting a little hesitant about this whole build. Because I have 14 inches of belt armor and 8 and a half inches, or eight and a half inches of extended. But that might not be the armor that I need. Because I want to be firing at great range. Hopefully with the radar and the rangefinder I'm going to have a lot of accuracy at range. 
But that means that at range, my deck armor is most likely going to get hit. You can try to design for this, but it is almost impossible. If the enemy is also using 18 inch guns, which is the worst case scenario, and I'm fighting at, let's say, 20,000 meters, I would need 30 inches of deck armor in order to defend myself against 18 inch shells. That is a ton of armor, and it is just not possible. If I wanted to put this on 30, I would have a, uh, <laughs> I would need another 60 million to do it. So sure enough, if you get the additional funding, you could go with something as ludicrous as that. And I probably will at some point. But at the moment, I think 8 inches of deck armor, maybe 8.5, no, not even 8.5. Eight, 8 inches of deck armor is what I'm going to go with. 3 inches of deck extended, 12.5 on the conning tower, 12.5 on the turret, 5 inch on the turret top, and 6 inch on the secondaries. I don't know how well this is going to go. Let's just try the ship, the uh, Kaiser Friedrich Dreis itself. And not only defend itself, but also kick off the American battleships which are coming at it. Hopefully, I don't have to run dance around torpedoes too much, because this ship is not really too agile, I'm afraid. Alright, we already have the ships lit up. Range to target, 30 kilometers. Have they detected me? Yes. I have been detected by something. This one's already swinging turrets around. The lead ship, however, is not. That's interesting. They're packing a lot of secondaries, which mostly for me are not a concern. I'm not seeing any torpedo launchers on the decks. And those turrets? Oh, they don't look like 18 inch to me. I could be mistaken there, but they don't look like 18 inch to me. How about this one? Uh, different class, a couple more secondaries on the stern build. A whole bunch of secondaries here, no visible torpedo tubes. Doesn't mean it doesn't have them, but most of them, if they carry them underwater, don't carry a lot of them. So at least the battleships are not too big of a deal. The Kaiser Friedrich Drei has opened up with the bow turrets, already at 20% accuracy, at 30 kilometer range. Holy shit. Now, the first couple of shots are going to be ranging shots, just to figure out what the range to the target is. I might start steering away from the ship already. Um, because I have my accuracy. I don't need a whole lot closer. Oh, I actually hit him for 50 damage. Really? That's impressive. Yep, we got our first bit of damage done on the stern battle, or the, the second battleship. The lead one is still not interacting. This one might have a worse fire control system, or... Well, I don't think it has a worse spotting capability. But it's just not going for me. Look at that, another hit. Crack the armor a bit, partial pen. Minor damage to the ship. The Kaiser Friedrich itself has not yet taken any hits. Let's see. Oh, we got a destroyer smoke screen here. Range? 22 kilometers. Let's hope that those aren't a problem yet. What can I learn about these ships just by looking at them? Destroyers. Uh, I'm seeing a couple of tubes on the stern. Diameter unknown. It's usually easier to identify turrets than to identify the torpedo tubes. Seeing a couple of very small secondaries here. And a couple of what I might believe to be 5 inch turrets there. So right now not really a problem. And again, they're not a priority. I need to sink the battleship. I don't need to sink... Holy shit, that's accurate fire. I don't need to sink the destroyers. The battleships are my only deal here. These are the ones that I need to get. 18 in, or 18% and 19%, so that's great. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to pen this ship, because I don't know what it has for armor. How about you? Oh, this one's now also starting to turn its turrets. Okay, so that's good to know. Let's see, the Kaiser is turning away, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I want you to turn a bit more. I want to try and not provide a flat angle for the incoming shells, whatever caliber they are, to try and get more ricochet chance for the enemy. Because I don't really fully trust the armor that I have. 
Now let's set the speed back to full to get even more accuracy. Watch this. We're going to fire... Well, we're not going to fire all the guns. Not yet. Not yet. Look at that. Actually, a little bit tempted to get the ship closer because I want to see those nine inch. Well, they're not secondaries, they're officially classed as main guns. But I want to see those things fire as well. They reload in a mere 16 seconds, which is very quick for a nine inch. And they have a range of 20 kilometers, although an accurate range, I would say, of about maybe 15. What? What? Whoa. Ah. I hit the stern extended deck plating. And I got an ammo detonation. So this ship, <laughs> barely, barely having survived long enough, immediately died. 18 inch armor, or ammo detonation. Dead. Done. That was a really quick... Really quick engagement. Let's see if this one is going to be as lucky. Or as unlucky. Because I mean, come on. This was a modern battleship. This thing right here. I wouldn't even have time to identify it before it goes down. I look away, trying to get screenshots for one second. Talk about my secondaries for a bit. And I get rewarded with an ammo detonation on an enemy warship. I'm not going to lose sight on this thing for now. It seems to be pretty fast, though. Target, yeah. Target fast speed. Minus 54%. How fast is it going? Can you tell? No. That is something that I would like to know. Because I don't need to know exactly what kind of warship it is, or a full identification, to see how fast it would be going. You could argue that your rangefinder should be able to do that. Ah, hold on. What I did learn is that 16-inch guns from a warship that has to be this one, hit my ship for a whole 8 damage and a 5 damage. So structural integrity went down to 99% and I got one little, one little bit of armor potentially damaged. Aside from that, nothing. And contrast that to, him, to them already having lost one battleship, I'd say the Germans are currently ahead. I wonder though, why would you go for 16 inch guns if you're building modern warships? If you have 18 inch, then my experience with the game is, go with the 18 inch. That is, if they have the accuracy to sustain that. Okay, I've spotted something else. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's the sinking warship. These are the four destroyers. Range, 20 kilometers. Not a priority. Although, my battleship seems to disagree and was actually trying to hit the destroyer. No, 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 no. That's a big waste of firepower. I'm not sure. Was that supposed to go for the destroyer or the battleship? Because it landed somewhere in the middle. Alright, the salvo is going out on the warship. I'm going to lose out on a bit of accuracy here. That firepower is so accurate at this range. 29 kilometers. Now, in the previous battle that I did, where I was sailing the Hood versus the Germans, I noticed that the Germans in... Whoa! In that video also had a lot of accuracy. And I put that down to a combination of great rangefinding and radar rangefinders. And that actually appears to be the case. Whereas this battleship... I don't know, maybe it's the guns, maybe it's the radar, maybe it's the rangefinder. It just doesn't do the same amount of accuracy. It's not getting it. For some reason or another. It's barely firing. I hope I can identify this thing to figure out why it's not firing. Mm. No, 
was two overpens, was it? Yeah. Medium damage. How close are the destroyers? Do I need to start worrying? No, not yet. The destroyers in their current spot are not really in a good position to be torpedoing me because I am at 21 kilometers away. In the best possible case, they would, I think, have torpedoes which have a range of 22. And I'm heading away from them, so they cannot possibly be in range. So I don't really need to worry about the destroyers as of right now. Hit. That was a penetration hit. 26 damage only. Oof. Fire. Damage to the funnel. See, what I don't get about this battleship is that it knows it doesn't have the range. Why is it not closing in? If you don't have the range and you have a couple of really nice guns, get closer. Get those guns to open up. Because at this range, you're just useless. You're just getting torn to shreds bit by bit. Or you get your ammo detonated, whichever happens first. And judging by what happened to your... Well, not exactly sister ship, but to your buddy... I wouldn't really want to rely on my armor against 18-inch guns. And I also kind of dislike it because it makes for a very one-sided video. All I'm doing is lobbing shells into this battleship, and it's not really doing anything in return. The biggest threat are the destroyers, and they're, even they are sticking at 22 kilometers. So, come on, make an effort. It's... whoa. That destroyed the secondary guns. Uh, 47, 79, and 34. So what secondary guns got destroyed there? Well, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Now it seems like I'm actually getting farther away from the ship than closer to it. Yeah, I'm still heading away. Let's turn in. So long as those destroyers are not a threat, I'm perfectly happy. There you go, 22 kilometers out. Once again, a hit on the warship. Fire set. Let's put the fire out, so it might have a lot of bulkheads. There's another fire. Let's see how quick that gets turned out. Yep, it's out. I think it has a lot of bulkheads. Many or max would be my bet. Another fire, once again, amidships. 90%. This is so one-sided. Come on, Americans. Fight me. Do something. Because right now you're losing two battleships very quickly. Okay, that was not a pen. 95? Why is she not shooting? 31.2, slowly closing in. 31.1. Some shells are bouncing off the armor. I want to know what my pen chance is. 99. Done. This is the New York. Maximum bulkheads. Yep, as predicted. Chance to pen. 72%. That's not bad. That is not bad. Ricochet chance is low. Just for fun, I want to fire a salvo of HE and see what happens. I want to see if I can set a whole bunch of fires on this ship quickly. And I know that I've already cracked, or, well, fractured some of the armor. So that might mean that the fires are going to get easier to take hold of the ship. Destroy another secondary gun. Although, which one is entirely... Well, actually, this one's looking a little dark here. Here comes the HE. Right here. Hit. Yeah, that one didn't do anything. 
That was the stern turrets, considering the number of shells. These are the bow turrets. Look at that dispersion, though. One here, one there, one on the ship, a second one on the ship. Yeah, actually doesn't do anything yet. Keep AP. Are these any closer? Do we need to be worried? No, I don't need to be worried. I don't need to be worried at all. It's like the AI just has no idea how to play this. Which is why I think multiplayer would be a good addition to this kind of game, but I'm not sure if that's actually going to be implemented. It's a question that I've received on a lot of videos. Is this going to have multiplayer? I don't know. I would like it if it did. But as far as I know, it is not something that they're working on or planning. But I could be mistaken on that. So forgive me if I am not completely up to the latest what they have planned for this game. Ah, she's firing. Wow. 7.2%. So she's actually trying to defend herself here, the New York. Fire set. That one bounced off. Look at that ricochet here. Sheesh. What's her reload? 39 seconds. You're using 18 you're using 16 inch mark 3s. And I'm using 18 inch mark 5s. Yeah, no wonder. Now, I wonder if those shells are actually going to hit me. There's eight incoming shells, which have a decent chance to hit me. Even if they do hit me, is that going to hurt? Is that going to be affecting the ship? Hit. Eight damage. Sixteen damage, that's all. That's, uh, that's not a whole lot. I'm not too concerned about sixteen points of damage. I think the New York should be a little bit more concerned. But the amount of damage that I'm doing to it. 20, 22, excellent. DDs. I'm keeping a constant eye on these. Now they're looking at 18 kilometers. Uh, what was the control again? Oh, right. These are considered mains. They're not considered secondaries. Hmm. I'm not sure if the game is going to set this, the 9 inches on the destroyers. Because if I go for alt right click. Oh, there we go. The 9 inches are considering the DD a threat. And they can be locked on. But now I have now I have 18 inches locked on to the DD. The other 18 inches are going for the battleship. The 9 inches are going for the destroyer and so are the 5 inch. Hold up. Set to auto. This is your main target. This is your secondary target. This is weird. This is really weird. Anyway, the DDs. I still don't really consider them a threat. The battleship is my priority. That's the prime target. That's what I need to sink. Let's focus on that guy. And if the DDs want to get closer, they're welcome to try. Oh, I'm on fire. Really? Yeah. Fire on the stern turret. Out. Structural integrity down to 97%. Perfectly fine. As opposed to the New York, which is doing 59%. How's my pen chance? We need to adjust. No. Ricochet is slowly going up, but nothing serious. Pen chance, 73%. I think I'm getting a lot more damage into AP than I would with HE. Let's just continue with the AP. Another fire set. I'm hoping to continue with the AP and knock out a turret at some point. Right now I'm just not seeing it yet. Now, lesson learned for the next time. If I'm building a ship like this, or maybe if you are building a ship like this. Make sure you don't use 9 inch main guns as a sort of secondary role. Because they are perfectly in range of the destroyer. But because the game considers them to be main armaments, they're not actually using them. Whereas if I go for old right click, the 18 inch triple turrets consider the destroyer a threat. The 9 inch consider them a threat. But the other 18 inches go for the main, go for the battleship. 
So, go for 8-inch secondaries. Those would probably be firing at the destroyer. Now, I do want to know a lot... Holy shit, there's a lot of incoming fire. So now we're firing... We're firing basically all the guns on the starboard side. The only thing that's not firing yet is the 5-inch. But they're not in range. So I can't blame them. That's the volume of fire from the 9-inch. It's 1% chance to hit. That's ridiculous. I'm not exactly expecting to hit the destroyer. I just want to know what my chances to hit were. <laughs> now that I know, I'm not too impressed. I'm getting a little too close here to the New York. It's starting to take a bit too much damage. I mean, I'm still at 96, but... I don't want to chance it. And I might also be able to slow down a little bit and throw off the aim for the destroyers. If they have sent torpedoes. So turn and slow down a little. Well, it's going to take this ship a while to slow down. With its 100, 108,000 tons. New York. I'm surprised, actually, that New York hasn't taken any flooding damage yet. I must have only gotten... Superstructure and waterline hit. Not the sub waterline. It's actually remarkably well holding up against my shell fire. Twenty six, twenty eight versus his seventeen. Yeah, you don't win this, buddy. Either you close in or you turn tail. By the way, speaking of turning tail, um. What I've had happen in a couple of custom battles in Alpha 3 was that the enemy decided to withdraw. And apparently that's something that's been patched out in Alpha 4, which means that they will not be able to do that anymore. The AI has been disabled to withdraw. Hold on, the Osmond and the Henley have launched their torpedoes. Guys, I need you to turn around. I don't know where that fire is, or where those torps are going. But let's not continue on the previous course. What's the range on these? Destroyers. 22 kilometers, as expected. Maximum range, 22 inch torpedoes. Deal a maximum of 8,280 damage if you don't get any kind of damage reduction. But I do get some kind of damage reduction. Because I have my inch torpedo bulge. New York's down to 46. Hold on, are you leaving? Oh, I might have to chase down the New York. We also have a battle cruiser over here. Looks like a perfect day to detonate a battle cruiser, but damn, this thing's speeding. <laughs> it's doing the same old battle cruiser lap. I'm not sure why these things keep doing victory donuts, but they really like to spin in circles. Hold up. They're all leaving? No, you're not. No, you're not. Oh, now I'm going to have to chase down the New York. The New York can do 22.6 knots. I can do a maximum of 24 slash 25. I hope I can hit an engine. Because if this thing is... Oh, actually, it can do 28. 28.5. Speed up. Increase the flank. Fourteen and seventeen percent accuracy, and that's probably going to go down pretty fast. What's the range? Range is 31.7 and increasing. 31.8. 31.9. Maximum fire range, 49 kilometers, but that's without a whole lot of accuracy. What's its speed? Still 22.6. Might have taken some structural damage slowing the ship down. No wonder that battle cruiser was doing a victory donut. It's trying to withdraw. Oh crap, I'm running out of shells at some point. The Constitution. Jesus. The AI really likes their battlecruisers fast. 47,000 tons is being displaced at a top speed of 46.5 knots. It has almost no armor and 15-inch guns. 
And then a bunch of secondaries, which I'm really not intimidated by at all. Can I even hit this thing? Yeah, still fairly well. Could I hit the battle cruiser? Not really. <laughs> Target fast speed. Minus 90% aim. Yeah, that's not going to work. I'm not quite going to be able to chase that thing down. Alright, let's turn to times five. And start our pursuit. And hopefully stay outside the range of those destroyers. Because I'm really not looking forward to getting hit by a uh, torpedo. Mostly because it's going to slow the ship down, potentially. New York, 22-3. Pen chance, 61-7. Ricochet chance is high. Switch to HE. Shit, I lost it. Oh, damn. Current speed, 18.9 and increasing. 19.2. Currently switching fire to the battle cruiser, the Constitution. Yeah, good luck trying to hit that. Switch to safe. Or save, rather, not safe. Don't fire unless you have a relatively good chance to hit it. The battle cruiser has hit my battleship for 7.3 damage. Jeez, could you please slow down? How am I supposed to hit you? 41 knots. And speeding up. 40.7. 0. 0.6. And <laughs> is doing donuts again. Why? It's like the AI has no idea how to command their ships. Speeding up again. 41. 41. 2. 41. 3. 41. 4. <laughs> I'm not fighting a battle cruiser, I'm fighting a speedboat with 15 inch guns. This is not something that I really had designed the Kaiser Friedrich for. It was not supposed to be chasing down enemy warships, it's just supposed to knock them down with those 18 inch. Ah, there we go. Battleship has been relocated. Reacquired. Uh, that's your target. Chance to hit, about 5%. Okay. Open up. 12%. That's better. And since my ricochet chance is so high, I'm going to stick to HE. Speed, 22.3. Own ship speed, 24.3. Okay, so we are still speeding. We should very, very slowly be getting closer to the New York. 34.3 kilometers. For the moment, I should have plenty of shells to keep this engagement going. 215 rounds. Hold up, this... What? Look at this. I think we have a bug. If I'm firing my 18-inch guns, it seems like it wasn't updating. 203 shells? I fire, and I don't lose any shells. There, ah, okay, so it doesn't update when you're on times three. Or maybe it updates in batches or something. I don't like my shells running out. Distance, 34. I'm really gonna have to spend hours chasing this battleship down. Fire set. Own ship speed, 24.3. I guess that's about as good as I can get. About as fast as the ship will go. I want you to chase after, directly after the New York. Chance to hit 15%. What's your speed? 22.3 still. So I'm very slowly going to be closing in. Um, if my 18 inches run out of shells, I might have to start relying on the 9 inch. Which I really don't like. There you go, destroyed secondary, fire set. This is a terribly slow way of taking down that battleship, though. A couple of shells.
exhaust actually start damaging the funnel so it loses engine efficiency. Just keep lobbing HE at it. There you go, another secondary gun destroyed. Structural integrity is not going down. Not sure where those were supposed to go. Fire set twice, just on the stern and amidships. Bounce. 131 rounds left. Let's switch to save. Only hit, we have a decent chance to hit. Range? 33-4. Oh, this is going to take forever. What about the other ships? 27. Penetration to 100%. Yeah, if you can hit it. You're still zooming around, aren't you? Yeah, sure. 40 knots. Why not? Now I'm thinking, did I make a design decision mistake when I was building the Kaiser at just 25 knots? Because I don't really think so. I wouldn't want to build one of these ships to go exceptionally fast. I just want to build it for firepower as a sort of slow... A slow piece of artillery, which it, well, which it basically is. And our fires spread a little bit, but those maximum bulkheads are containing the fires very quick. Another fire set. I think we're going to run out of 18 inch shells. It's going to happen. Just imagine what would have happened if I had not detonated that other battleship. I would have needed a lot more shells. fire. It's not slowing them down. 22-2. This, by the way, is also a really big battleship at a displacement of 77,000 tons. Fires. 77 shells left on the bow turrets. 116 on the stern. More fires. All these fires are not helping anybody, though. Come on. Knock it down. Is the range of that battle cruiser? 26-3. 59 rounds left. That's... That's about 10 salvos. Off. 32-7. Time. Damage to the main gun. Looks like a stern turret was hit. Right, so this is going to take a while. Where are those destroyers at? Twenty-three kilometers. The destroyers are still putting up smoke to make sure that the battleship can actually escape. 24-3... Nah, I won't hit that. So far this battle cruiser, by the way, is trying to deal damage, but it's really not that successful. There you go, another 6.4 damage. You're not fooling anybody. I should have pushed into this battleship and had the chance. Now it's just running off. Okay, lesson learned. Make sure you keep chasing battleships down until you actually have them killed off before they start to run away from you. Mistake. That's my chance to hit. Still 19 only. 47 shells. Forty-one shells. Where is this going? <laughs> nice try.
Now, I can have the stern turrets also open up. That's another 116 shells, but I don't want to because it means that I have to open up. So I have to either turn port or starboard, which means I'm not chasing after the battleship as fast anymore. Now, if I'm at some point going to be able to get into range, then the 18-inch stern guns might be able to do some work. And the 9-inch. But the 9-inch are really only going to be effective against that battleship at 10 kilometers. Which I'm really not that likely to get to anytime soon. Alright, I had the video, well, the recording paused for a second, considering what to do, because I just ran out of 18-inch ammo. I'm going to say that the Americans won this fight, or well, won. Um, I mean, I sunk a battleship, but I'm not really going to be able to complete the mission. Because even with this speed of 24 knots, and their speed of 22, it's going to take me forever to close in on this guy. Especially with the 9-inch, and, well, maybe with the 18-inch I would be able to do something, but he's sailing away, so my ricochet chance is extremely high. I'm going to say I failed the mission. And I'm going to try it again, but then not go for the firepower, but go for the money. And I'm going to see what sort of battleship I can whip up at 130,000 tons. So, join me next time for more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. I'm going to see what sort of battleship I can use, or design, that's going to have as many guns as possible. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments, and I shall see you guys soon for more videos.